everyone welcome back to my latest trapping video today i'll be showcasing a bunch of hits on my solo trap uh it's gonna be my 156 mil smite solo trap also i'll be going over some trapping tactics you guys can use to get people to hit you more often so um you all know my thousand iq trap or my 2000 iq trap i use that one a bunch uh, there's another way way uh once they figure out you are a trap or they're on, that you're online you can actually get them to hit you more times and i'll kind of showcase that in the first couple clips here um then i'll have a couple trapping clips and i'll do another one where um the same thing but i do it a little differently so you can see a couple ways i do it uh this first one was me doing the thousand iq trap you did just miss it my leader had just come back he went in with his tier four attack to try and get my leader uh this guy decided to come in with a tester march um basically just to start a rally on me so this happens a lot if you're in the situation you're a trap you probably got this a bunch someone will hit you um and then they'll go in uh, maybe do another tester and a couple testers let's say you get a leader and then all of a sudden and they'll start a rally on you so um in this situation you're like oh it could be a gangbang it could be a rally and this is in this one it ended up being a rally so this is just gonna be me going over um some trapping tactics if you don't care about trapping tactics you can kind of skip ahead here but um this is going to be just going over it so in this situation there is a rally start on me so there's a couple ways things you can do uh one of them is just shield and go on for the next trap and the second one is to try and get more hits so this is the second one i'm going to do so what you do is you look around um um, you pour away, look around, look for some tiles, and you're going to start throwing troops on these tiles. Um, I know a lot of people know this tactic, but it's a good way to get people to either cancel a rally so you don't have to shield, because uh, a lot of times you have to shield here, and then you have to go either go into fury to break your shield, or you have to forge the wonder to break your shield and do that, so... Um, the other way is to get them just to cancel the rally. A lot of times they'll cancel the rally once this happens, once you pour away. Uh, this one, they ended up putting a tracker rally on me um, just because of that. But um, again, this is kind of what you want to do. Sometimes you think or you get them to think that you're actually like trying to get rid of your troops. Um, so you're like, oh, no, I can't take the rally. I better hide my troops on tiles. So that's what I'm doing here, kind of doing that. And a lot of times it'll actually get them either to cancel the rally or set up a gangbang as your troops are coming back from the tile because they'll go hit them. I kind of did it wrong in this situation. Um, I found a better way to do this, and I'll show you later in the video, is to send a little bit more troops onto the tile because as soon as you send those more troops and they see you've sent a bunch of troops out there, be like, oh, he's actually trying to get rid of his troops. And then they'll try and tile hit you. And then um, you'll recall, or even actually a better way I found out is let them hit one of the tiles. Uh, that way it'll get some kills but not actually kills and this situation here i'm going to actually just start randoming our way so uh this is a fake random here this is kind of them to get them to use that predatory response that people have you know the fight or flight response um if I'm porting around like this, they're like, oh, he he tried to hide his troops, and now he's trying to ram away so we can't hit him. And this actually gets sometimes gets people to hit you more often. So um, act, you don't want to act all confident, because if you act confident, then they'll see that confidence. Like, oh, he's sitting there. He wants us to hit him, so we won't hit him. But if you start porting away and randoming around, because I knew they had the tracker on me, I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe he's actually trying to run away, and they'll go try and hit me. So in this situation, uh, nothing happened, but I'll show you another case later later in the video uh, where it does actually work out fine. So again, this is just a little trapping tip. So this in this situation, again, I'm doing the 1000 IQ trap. I'm just walking my leader back. So this guy decides to port next to me. Uh, there's actually a bunch of people porting around me and attacking me at this point. Uh, someone's sending 300, 250,000 tier 3. Um, I think the other one was tier 2. And I think someone recalled there. So it looked like uh, a couple attacks went in. Uh, someone did end up recalling there once they saw that... Uh, I think it was Max Jordan's attack didn't work out so well. And I don't think I really dropped much might from his attack. So sometimes it scares them away if uh, someone goes in and fails like that. Uh, so it's, it's sometimes better for them not to fail on you and you get a bunch of free kills. So sometimes you'll get more kills after because uh, people uh, will see that anyways. So in that situation, I got a couple free kills there. Um, I guess it was a tier 3 and a tier 2 attack there. Uh, both sent cav. So um, in these situations, I like setting a range just because people like to send cav at you as like uh, as farming marches so um and in kind of this one i'll be sitting in range sometimes we'll sit in infantry but most of the time you're getting hit by cav uh don't sit in cav by the way <laughs> um I, that's actually why you never really see people pull uh, people solo people with range because the chances of someone sitting in cav is just so low so um you're like if you're a trap you're usually sitting in range or infantry in this situation I like sending sitting in range just because more people are sending cav so that's the only thing there that's the only little tip i have for you in this situation 
mentioned, uh, again, they have started a rally. So uh, I could do the, uh, what's called the fake, uh, what's called hide all my troops. Uh, that's one thing I could do here, or I could, let's say shield. Um, there's not anything really else you can do, at least I've thought of. You guys have any other uh, ideas of what to do to get people to hit you more once they've started the rally? Leave it down below. Um, posting anything or messaging people is probably not the best idea. I found out as soon as you start messaging people, um, the chances of them hitting you is basically zero at that point. Um, where if you uh, basically do what I'm going to do here, port away and then start hiding troops. And if, and sometimes if I don't like where the, uh, the, what's called the tiles are, I won't actually put them there. So I like this tile placement better. So I'm, <coughs> I'm actually going to uh, do the exact same thing that you saw in the previous clip here. I'm going to start hiding all my troops on the tiles. So um, same thing, hide all my troops. Um, I'm actually going to be sending bigger marches. So I found it's better for them to see that you have more troops on a tile. I mean, don't do this if you can't take a hit without your troops. Um, if you need these troops in your castle to take the hit, um, don't go throwing them away because if they just go and solo you and burn you, that's probably not what you want. Um, but in this situation, I have not I usually have a little bit extra troops than I need because I usually do like leaderless trapping and stuff like that. So I'm usually running a little bit more troops because you need the extra troops. So once I get my leader back, I don't need as many troops so I can actually send them away. And you can see here, um, they're actually going to hit my camp. Um, what I don't want to do is actually recall that. So um, I think he actually hit my camp camp in that situation i'm not 100 sure but yeah you actually do want to let them hit a camp and then recall the other ones because they'll see that you had a ton of troops on there then they'll go actually go in for the attack so in this situation it's the exact same thing happened here um i'm in i'm in range so i don't really need to worry about that hit that was a cav attack there's no tier five in that attack um so it wasn't too bad and i'm sitting in range so i don't need to switch my gear uh but yeah i got an extra leader in attack there just because i did the little bait here so as you can see it does work pretty well it doesn't work all the time and I did, did end up losing, uh, what's called a hundred thousand. That was the tier three tile. So, um, that would hurt a little bit more, a little more expensive to heal. I usually just send, in, send out tier two, but I'll send out tier three cause it's really slow and it looks like I'm actually trying to hide troops then. Cause as soon as someone sees those really, really slow troops walking out, they're like, Oh, he's actually hiding troops. And then, yeah, but I, unfortunately I got the leader there, but then they didn't go in for the gangbang. So only got an extra, one extra attack. But it's better than nothing, because uh, usually what ha would happen there is you would have to either waste their carpets or something. But once they start the rally, they're probably not going to try and sell you. So anyway, so this was a little bit of a tester attack as well. Uh, saw my leader coming back, sent some tier two to try and farm me. And I was just checking out their guild to see uh, who else was in their guild, uh, who else I'd had to watch out for. Because I do that all the time, actually. If I'm doing this trap and I see a guild port next to me, I'll, I'll check their guild list. Um, and see what gear the guys are wearing and stuff like that. So if I see one of them port next to me, I know I got to switch my gear or get really ready. And if I see if I see there's no one in their guild that's really a, a problem for me or anything like that, then I don't usually have to switch my gear or anything. So I'll just stay in my uh, non-war gear as it's coming. So anyways, nothing else happened after that. Um, doing the same thing again, except this was the 2000 IQ trap. I was letting them burn my alt. Uh, as my leaders wa or as my leaders walking back, this guy decided to send his 200,000 tier four at me uh no leader or anything like that so it's gonna be a really easy attack um and again i'll be getting yeah i'll be getting a bunch of free kills so i'm just gonna switch the cav uh wedge there i i was kind of waiting a little bit to see if anyone else would go in for the attack because again you do not want to be sitting in cav if someone goes for an actual attack so i usually wait to the last second if i'm gonna be switching to cav just in case but we both hit into cav wedge actually uh he sent infantry and i sent or I sent nothing because uh, he attacked me, so I I was in cav. So he ended up doing 724 damage to me. So massive, massive damage to me for those uh, tier four kills. But yeah, again, once they see that uh, they didn't really do much damage, a lot of times they won't go in for the follow up attack or they'll start the rally. So um, sometimes it's almost better to let them do a little bit more damage to you because they're like, oh, I did damage, I can actually go in for a follow up attack. But if it's like, oh, I did zero damage with that big tier four attack and uh, i probably don't want to try and solo that because <laughs> um usually you want to you want to see a little bit of damage if you're uh if you're doing a tester attack 
or or like especially if you sent tier four if you sent like tier two and you didn't do any damage and it's like oh maybe you had to get through his wall or something but anyways this guy's going in for a full attack um i did switch my war gear for that one uh just because i saw the tier five in there and usually when i see tier five and i don't know what their gear is i'll just switch but it was a good thing i did because they had really good gear uh they went tier five tier four but only uh 250 000, so uh, ended up losing just a little bit of tier four there uh poured away really fast so i must be even a really big kingdom if they poured away that fast because uh, I'm pretty sure they were a pretty big uh, uh, person. That wasn't the person who hit me, but um, yeah, that I'm pretty sure this guy has really good gear and there's pretty big account. Uh, yeah, 1.3 billion with uh, three mythic cups. Uh, he doesn't have mythic champ. Uh, that's the only thing he's missing. He's got the what's called gold champion boots, which, which are really good. But um, yeah, he still did 223,000 even with a 250. And I switched my war gear, so um, it was a full counter, sure. Sure, I was in uh, range when he did that, but um, yeah, he, he still did quite a bit of damage for uh, 250 attack, so he's quite good attack, but yeah, since I'm in a big kingdom, he decided to pour away right away. I guess he didn't want to try and take a leaderless rally in this kingdom with like a bunch of guilds, because a lot of these guys will do like, I don't know, like five rallies on you, even even if you're 1.3 billion, you probably don't want to take them. Um, even though if you probably cap them, you'll be losing quite a bit of troops on those rallies. Uh, so this guy's going to go in for a uh, farming attack again. Evil Duck is coming in to steal my leader as it's coming back. Um, this is GY Evil Duck. Um, not not the good duck like me. Uh, he's the evil duck, by the way. So <laughs> the evil duck tried to steal my leader there. Um, yeah, he he has actually mythic champ and stuff, so um, he probably has quite a good attack if he's got those uh, mythic champ boots. Uh, might not have full mythic champ, but he probably has a good infantry blast since he has the uh, mythic uh, mythic champion inf infantry boots, and those are one of the pieces usually you're uh, looking for in your set, uh, along with the cups and all that. If you're not running full mythic champ, obviously, if you run full mythic champ, then you just run full mythic champ. Champ, but that's kind of expensive um, usually a lot of these guys will just run the uh, mythic champ infantry boots maybe the mythic champ offhand which is uh, the shield um, and then they'll run like three cups and then uh, the rest will just be level 60 gear like uh, um, what's the yeah terror shield what is the main plate usually non mythic champ and then uh, what's the beast helm and is it the saw that's best in hand or the terror lash Probably Terror Lash, I think. Maybe the Saw. I, I don't know. One of, the, one, of the one of those two. If you're running non-full Mythic Champ, obviously you can run full Mythic Champ. But um, again, you don't have to run that to have a really good attack. So this guy's going to go in. I'm going to actually switch my War Gear. Uh, since he is speeding up, he's usually sending... Yeah, he's sending a leader to attack on this one. So as Sky Leo sent his Tier 4, Tier 5 Blast at me, I actually did quite a bit of damage there. I'm, at, I'm down to 359,000... He, I have 359,000 infirmary space, or in troops in my infirmaries. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, he definitely had a good. He had three uh, mythic cups on that one, so both of them are quite good. Um, Evil Duck obviously didn't want to go in with his leader, but he's going to go in for the rescue rally here. Uh, the other guy did go in uh, full blast there. I uh, did quite a bit of damage, even though. Uh, was I sitting in range or was I sitting in infantry there? Well, let's take a look at that. That's not, that's the, that's the Pyrus. So um, that's not the guy I have to build a bunch of is that tier one siege because I get Pyrus so much. Um, they, people love sending Pyruses at me, but yeah, again, they're only killing my tier one. So I just got to keep rebuilding those. Uh, I was sitting in infantry and he sent that range. So he, he, yeah, that's a really good blast. If he's doing that much damage and, and I'm sitting in full counter there. So I guess he only did 194,000 to my front line, but Still quite a bit. Um, he ended up losing 150,000 tier 4. Uh, his tier 5 ended up going to his infirmary, so not a big deal for him. But these will be the last couple clips. So anyways, um, can you guys let me know if you like uh, hearing about these tips and stuff I'm doing in the video? Because um, if not, I just will skip over them. Just throw a bunch of, uh, what's called, attacking clips and stuff in, like, in there. But uh, if you want to hear the clip, here are the tips and stuff like that. Let me know in the uh, description down below, not the description, in the comments down below. Uh, if you like hearing about that, also hit that thumbs up button. It does help with the video. So these last couple of uh, video or clips are just going to be some tester march, not tester marches, but uh, farming marches and tester marches. So um, yeah. Also, if you guys have any uh, clips for the uh, top traps competition, I have done video one. I am going to be working on video two that will come out next Monday. And I'll announce who the uh, people in the video were. I know a lot of you uh, have already uh, discovered who they are, or have at least posted who they are. But I'll, I'll let you know officially who they are and who won and how many votes each of them got in the next uh, what's called Top Traps competition video that will be coming out 
on Monday. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, again, I will have, uh, what is today? Oh yeah, it's KVK coming up tomorrow. So anyways, hope you guys uh, have a great KVK and I'll see you guys in the next one.